This is Radioactive Kids, which also broadcasts on Jump 1053 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Radioactive Kids broadcasts from occupied lands of the Tzolagi people, also known as the Cherokee. You want to be, say good morning is waiting to see. Hello, hello, hello. I'm going to start fading it off right there. We have a ton of stuff to get to, and I want to be sure to be able to fit it all. Hi, everyone. My name is Sagan, and welcome to Radioactive Kids, broadcasting from Asheville FM. This is Independent Kids Music Show for Asheville and the World. We have brand new music this week by Loopy Tunes, Jazzy, Jazzy Ash, Uncle Jumbo, Steve Elsie, Levity Beat, Lori Henriquez, my friend Christopher, and a whole lot more. And we will also interview the great Red Yarn about his brand new underground EP, which is amazing. Uh, so stay tuned for that. We have lots more music as well. We're going to start off the show with a song by an artist uh, named Penny Pom Pom. You, you, you may recall we, we played a song by her with uh, Will's Jams last year. Well, she has a new single out, and we probably should have played it back when spring first started, but we didn't g- get it until now, and that's okay because it's a fun song. It's called Take Off Your Socks, It's the Spring Equinox <laughs> on Radioactive Kids. Here we go. Thursday, Friday. Oh, look, it's my friend, Faye the Garden Fairy. Hi, Penny. Faye, what's your favorite season? Springtime. Well, today's the first day of spring, the spring equinox. Take off your socks, it's the spring equinox. So put your bare feet on the ground. What a dream. Dream. 
Bunny, what's your secret? Bunny, 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 bunny. New shoots growing. Bunny, 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 bunny. Fresh and glowing. Nibbling on the green. Ears listen so keen. Motionless and unseen. Bunny, what's your secret? What's your secret? Mum, would I get up with the setting sun? Dirty my teeth and chew my food. Spit it out whole. Would you call that rude? I would grow into a baby. See what I mean? The good thing is my nappy would be suddenly clean after making it smelly in the washing machine. Put in your whites and they come out green. And kitty cat would be tacky tick. Crocodile would be a little cook. Elephant would be the nappy lay, but Dad would still be Dad. We'd unpaint art, make the canvas bare, leave the cell on with longer hair. Hooray, hip hip when we cheer, fix your legs when you fall up the stairs. Granddad grows less bald and starts to grin when the dentist puts his teeth back in. He pokes in splinters with a pin and watches his unwrinkling skin. And hippopotamus will be Sumatopopit. Kangaroo will be Uraganek. Alligator will be a Rottergiller. But Mum will still be Mum. Toot will still go toot. A kook is still a kook. A dud will be a dud. A nun will be a nun. Wow will still be wow. And lots of loves will still be love. What if the world went backwards, mum? I'd play guitar like. Just pause. 
Catchy brand new single by Loopy Tunes from New Zealand featuring Levity Beat. That song was called Let's Make Lemonade. And before that, we heard two new singles by Levity Beat himself. <laughs> we heard W-I-T-W-W-B-M, What If the World Went Backwards, Mum, and Bunny, 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 Bunny on Radioactive Kids. Um, we started the show off with Take Off Your Socks. It's the Spring Equinox by P- Penny Pom Pom. I am Sagan. My pronouns are they, them, theirs. And this is Radioactive Kids. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. I am having a great time. Um, let's play another brand new single by Steve Elsie and Friends. We've been playing some upcoming uh, s- some singles from his upcoming album, Nutmegger. This song is called Silly Words on Radioactive Kids. Sometimes I like to sit and make up words Like Fafalina, so, so loopler These are my silly words My silly words Sometimes I give my food a made-up name Like Quichi Yami, Mool, Porte Villain These are my silly words My silly words Silly words But not me These are my silly words My silly words Silly words Silly words, they make me laugh Some kids like to sing or take 
but not me Sometimes I like to sit and make up words Rub 
rub a dub dub, one moose in a tub. Rub a dub dub, rub a dub, a rub a dub dub, one moose in a tub. Rub a dub dub. Well, I left England in the key of G. My birthday suit I clean with glee. Goodbye, Belgium. Hello, France. I think I'll do a dance in Provence. I sail my tub down the coast of Spain. I see Morocco through the pouring rain. Past Senegal and Cote d'Ivoire. Well, I didn't miss a thing 'cause I washed it all. Rub it up, dump one moose in a tub. Sail on my boat with the soap that floats. Little white dory far from the shore. Sailing in my tub all around the world. And here we go on the high seas, South Africa, my friends to see. Stop in Cape Town, have a ball. Sailing in my tub all around the world. To India, past Singapore and Indonesia, and then we stopped in Australia. Met a kangaroo and a koala. Dub, a rubber dub, dub, zebra, moose, lion in the tub. Turned our tub to Ecuador, the Galapagos. We have to explore. We're heading down Panama Canal. When we stand up, everybody says, "Wow!" Rubber dub, dub, one moose in a tub. Sail on my boat with the soap that floats. Little white dory far from the shore, sailing in my tub all around the world. And here we go on the high seas, Caribbean, so nice to see. Stopped in Cuba, had a ball, sailing in my tub all around the world. A dub, a rub a dub dub, zebra, moose, lion in the tub. Rub a dub, a rub a dub dub, zebra, moose, lion in the tub. Well, I sailed the tub to Newfoundland, but a storm comes up and it's really bad. The waves are high. The bubbles low. We can't sink this close to home. A zebra, moose, lion in the tub. When I spy the lighthouse and we wait for shore, we're rowing hard and pushing for more. We pull our tub upon the beach. A moose, a zebra, a lion to see. Rub it up, dump one moose in a tub. Sail on my boat with the soap that floats. Little white dory far from the shore. Sail in my tub all around the world. And here we go on the high seas. Newfoundland, so nice to see. Stopped in George Street, had a ball. Sailing in my tub all around the world. Sailing in my tub all around the world. Sailing in my tub all around the world. A dub, a rub a dub dub. Zebra, moose, lion in the tub. Rub a dub, a rub a dub dub. Zebra, moose, lion in the tub. Trying, but it's hard to catch my prey. If I get you in my sight, I'll give you such a fright. Say la freak, ah. Say la freak, ah. Say la freak, ah. Elephants are huge, giraffes are too tall. I do better if I chase something small. If I get you in my sight, I'll give you such a fright. Say la freak, ah. This is Africa. I need some food. This is Africa. It could be you in Africa. The lion is king. This is Africa. I eat what I see. Still Africa. Still Africa. And when I hunt. I'm very, very quiet. I stalk my prey slowly to surprise. If I get you in my sight, I'll give you such a fright. Say la freak, ah. Oh. Say la freak, ah. Oh. Will the beast snort and have really good eyes? Buffalo are angry, gazelles jump too high. If I get you in my sight, I'll give you such a fright. Say la freak. Ah. This is 
Well, the, the song was almost done, and, and the, uh, the player glitched out on me. Anyway, well, the song was nearly done, and I'm, my apologies for it, it cutting off. Regardless, that, that, y'all, that was an awesome new EP. Some songs from an awesome new EP by an artist named Dr. Zoo Sings. Um, he has a new EP call, out called Zoo and the Moose, an African Adventure. I believe it, it, it has something to do with a show at an actual zoo but like even w- without the you know the understanding where it's from the songs are awesome it, it, it's a really fun ep we heard say la freak ah the lion song we also heard rub a dub dub one moose in a tub and sing with me by dr zoo sings before that we heard silly words a new single by steve elsie and friends hope you're enjoying the show so far i am saying this is radioactive kids Let's calm it down a bit and switch directions completely. Uh, we, we got a new EP by an, a new kindy artist named Emma Greenfield. She has um, an EP of tr- tr- traditional songs out. It's called, what is it called? It's called Traditional English Language Children's Songs and Nursery Rhymes. And we're going to play a c- couple songs from that. And the, the first song I'm going to play is actually a song you probably heard before, but but I, I really like this version. Um, yeah, actually, you've almost certainly heard it before. What, what am I saying? Um, it's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, but it is v- very interesting and v- very cool. Anyway, this is Emma Greenfield on Radioactive Kids. Twinkle, twinkle, Thank 
the fuck up on this old man came
sit that up and have some fun. When it's winter and I see it's all white, it's sunny and cold, and I wanna be outside with all that. Don't forget the hat, boots. Let's guess what is for last. Snowsuit. Mm-hmm. I'll build a snowman, make him as tall as me. I'll give him eyes. I want him to see. He looks so cold without a coat, but it's no problem. We played years ago in the show with her last album. She has a brand new album out. It's called We Should Be Kind. We heard three songs from that. That last song we played was Zip It Up, which uh, when I first p- picked the song, I was like, well, it's warm and sunny in Asheville. It's, it's not r- really an appropriate season for this song, but it's such a fun song. I'm going to play it anyway. But then I woke up this morning and, and it had snowed, so it actually worked out a lot better than, than I thought it would. So we heard Zip It Up, and we also heard... Mehe o Corpo Todo, featuring Louise Grasmere, and we started the set off. Or excuse me, we, we also heard this old man featuring Alexandre Carvalho and Julio Santos from Sulina. Before that, we heard two songs by Emma Greenfield from her EP "Traditional English Language Children's Songs and Nursery Rhymes." We heard "Dance to Your Daddy" slash "When the Boats Come In." When the boat comes in, and twinkle, twinkle, little star. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. I am Sagan. Let's get jazzy now with Jazzy Ash. Uh, she has a brand new single out that is a history of recorded music. Yes, indeed, y'all. It's called Everybody Gotta Sing. And now, a brief history of music making. Radio, gramophone, RCA, extended play. Everybody gotta sing, sing, sing. Everybody gotta sing, sing, sing. Vinyl wax, old eight tracks, caroling, karaoke. Everybody gotta sing, sing, sing. Everybody gotta sing, sing, sing. Phone, stereo, saxophone, slide trombone, everybody gotta sing, 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 everybody gotta sing, 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 MTV, new CD, MP3, digital stream, everybody gotta sing, 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 everybody gotta sing, sing. Sing, sing, sing. 
I've had a while to work this out To try to see what this life's about I can tell you without a doubt I think I've found something true And then the final reason for hope is the indomitable human spirit. And we can have icons like Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King, people who have inspired because of their courage and their commitment and what they've managed to achieve. But those people are all around us. When we look at the paths of the people we find who inspire us, Begin to see how they have dealt with the things that quagmire us One hot tip that we get when we ponder their grit and admire it They've all got this one thing in common, lean in and you'll hear it Indomitable spirit That's what works best when the wave starts to crest An indomitable spirit That's what we need when we're gathering speed An indomitable spirit Spirit. That's it! When we look at the scope of the problems we all want to solve here We begin to see clearly we really do need some resolve here And we have something special our own human spirit provides us We've all got this one thing in common that's deep down inside us Indomitable spirit Helps us to jump when we come to a bump An indomitable spirit Gives us some pluck when we're stuck in the muck An indomitable spirit The indomitable human spirit I know you want to make this happen. And inside you can see yourself building it and doing it and being it. But somewhere along the way it slipped. You feel like you've been knocked down. But as long as you don't quit, there's always another chance. So get up and just try again.
Blacks on blocks until they're way up high. But then you make one move and everything drops. Or maybe you want to learn how to tie your shoe. But you start feeling stuck and don't know what to do. Ooh, I know it can be frustrating. That's why you need to have patience. Cause you could think of something new to try to make it better. Take it to another level. Cause everything does always go the way you like on the first try. So don't be afraid of making a mistake. Just give it another shot. Try again. You can get it. Be persistent. Don't give up. Try again. You can get it. Be persistent. Yes! Oh, man, what an incredible new single by Uncle Jumbo. That song was called Be Persistent. Before that, we heard Indomitable Spirit by Lori Henriquez, featuring the voice of Jane Goodall herself. Um, before that, yes, we heard Kind People by Lori Henriquez. She has two, two new singles out, and we played them both. We started that set off with Everybody Gotta Sing by Jazzy Ash. That is a brand new single by her and her band. All right. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. I am Sagan. This is Radioactive Kids. You are listening to Asheville FM at WSFMLP 103.3 Asheville. Radioactive Kids also broadcasts on Jump 105.3 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Um, coming up in just about 30 minutes, we will have an interview with Red Yarn, whose new uh, EP, the Underground EP, is really fun. Uh, but before that, we're going to play the entire EP. That's right, y'all. We're going to play the entire EP, and I, I, I can't wait. Um, so uh, we have a the the whole EP coming up with the underground EP, but first we're gonna play a uh, Wizard Rock song and a couple of other songs, maybe one other song. Uh, this is for no particular reason, uh, other than, than I th- th- thought it would be fun to play. This is Row Harry Row by Potterhead. Radioactive Kids. Down here in the crystal cave, row, Harry, row. Do not touch the water's wave, row, Harry, row. We will use the hidden boat, row, Harry, row. Magic forces make it float, row, Harry, row. I'll dream. 
drink the potion, the locket we must take. Then we will flee the island in the lake. I'll drink the potion, then out of here we'll go. And destroy the Horcrux, row, Harry, row. The potion tastes like Scottish malt, row, Harry, row. Mixed with vinegar, kale and salt, row, Harry, row. The worst drink that I ever had, row, Harry, row. Morbid visions fill my head, row, Harry, row. I'll drink the potion, the locket we must take. Then we will flee the island in the lake. I'll drink the potion, out of here we'll go. And destroy the Horcrux, row, Harry, row. Sing with Captain Dumbledore, row, Harry, row. We must safely reach the shore, row, Harry, row. All good wizards are on board, row, Harry, row. Traps were set, set by Voldemort, row, Harry, row. I'll drink the potion, the locket we must take. Then we will flee the island in the lake. I'll drink the potion, then out of here we'll go. And destroy the Horcrux, row, Harry, row. Holy cow.
crawl space making sounds A vomit in your vid shaft Just banging all around If you got some noisy dwellers in your cellar You may have found I'm the best new rock and roll band Rising up from the underground
wait to flush the toilet. We're having fun, no need to spoil it. At the sewer party, tell the plumber we're sorry. You need a road to the army. At the sewer party, sewer party, at the sewer party. It's a little sloppy, but we ain't hurt nobody. At the sewer party. That was Bunnies in the Club by Red Yarn, featuring uh, Uncle Devin on drums there, uh, from his new EP, The Underground EP. We are listening to uh, music from that. Before that, we heard Sewer Party and Basement Burrow Band. Uh, we, we also heard If You R- Really Like Cows by Watch Reggie Run. And we started that set off with Row Harry Row by Potterhead from the compilation Hut on the Rock, a sea shanty comp. Hope you're enjoying the show so far. We have an interview with Red Yarn himself coming up in just a few minutes, if everything works out correctly. Um, but first, we have a few more songs to play from uh, the Underground EP. This one's called Dig It. In this 
big world There's many creatures Stick to the surface It's just their nature Then there's the diggers The deeper seekers The earth's their teacher The search is richer for all the dreamers Has got a record collection Knows every B-side Read every line and know Makes every connection Becky the bookworm And she's so well read She's got libraries Literary dictionaries Inside her
thousand nights of a bitter cold But on that fateful evening A couple years ago He traveled home We were all up in the attic For a party till the dawn Toasting Maggie's wedding And singing old Redential songs Uncle Red Stumbled off To pour another draft When we heard the snap The night We laid down Uncle Red All the cousins We are digging, digging down, putting roots deep in the ground. Buried treasure we have found down below. With our hopes light the way, we go deeper every day. Planting seeds down in the clay, we're digging down. Like a mole who cannot see where his little hole will lead. Hunkers down on the ground and gets to work. We are digging for the other side, some with a vision, some still blind. Imagination is the guide we're digging down. Like a groundhog in a den, she prepared for all her kids. To keep them from the winter wind and falling rain. She has built a cozy home where her little ones can grow. She will teach them all she knows of digging down. We are digging, digging down, putting roots deep in the ground. The very treasure we have found down below. With our hopes to light the way, we go deeper every day. Planting seeds down in the clay, we're digging down. Like the squirrel before the cold, storing acorns in a hole. Making plans before the snow gets in the way. He is thinking of next season, he'll be feasting instead of freezing. Mother Nature is the reason, digging down. Like a rabbit in a war and all that she is exploring. Every twist and every turn can open doors To a sunny, bright future, to a lush and green pasture Where we need to love nurture, digging down We are digging, digging down while the earth keeps spinning around We get closer to the center every day When we reach that hallowed ground, peace and justice will be found We will celebrate the singing, we will say 
yard digging, digging down, good roots deep in the ground. Every treasure we have found down below. With our hopes light away, we go deep every day. Planting seeds down in the clay, we're digging down. Yeah, we are digging, digging down, good roots deep in the ground. Every treasure we have found down below. With our hopes light away, we go deep. Yes, indeed, folks. That was Digging Down by Red Yarn from his brand new EP, The Underground EP. Before that, we heard The Night We Laid Down Uncle Rat. All rats uh, and dig it. And I am very excited to have Red Yarn himself on the air with me right now. Hello. Hey, Sagan. Hey, Radioactive Kids. Thanks for having me on this morning. Awesome. So, so we, of course, have been thoroughly enjoying listening to this album. And I wanted to, to start the interview by asking, so what led to the creation of this, uh, of this EP? Because, you know, um, if, if listeners know your, your albums, you have a whole series of, uh, of albums like based in different uh, locales. You have a couple in the forest, one in the backyard, one on the farm. So what led to th- the creation of this, this one? Yeah, well, I was, I guess, just kind of following that trajectory of all these different, um, yeah, lo- songs about animals in different uh, locales and locations. And uh, this was in the, you know, early days of the pandemic. This was like fall of 2020. I was hunkered down with my family at home. I think I was literally out in my shed um, sweeping up uh, some debris left by some rats who had gotten in there and... uh uh-huh. Chewed up, chewed up a bunch of stuff I was storing in the shed, <laughs> and um, and I and I had this thought, which was that, you know, you know which critters I haven't really explored, and you know which critters haven't really gotten a, a fair shake. It's all the all the pests, all the <laughs> undesired critters, all the underground critters. So I kind of started. To, I got this little seed of an idea to do a, a a little project about you know subterranean animals and kind of under undesirable animals, quote unquote. Um, but do it with kind of underground punk sounds. So, um, yeah, that's kind of how it came about. And it was just one of those little funny moments of inspiration that I immediately, like, several songs kind of came pouring out. And next thing I know, I'd written this whole little silly set of <laughs> songs that became the EP. Oh, interesting. So so how long did it take you to write uh, all the songs, since you noted that all the songs just kind of came pouring out? I think so. The the EP is um, well. There's seven songs available on Bandcamp. There's six, only six available on like most of the re- regular streaming services. But I think six out of seven of those I wrote like in like a week or two from the initial idea. This is sometimes how my creativity works. It like, kind of comes in a wave, and so I think I wrote uh, Basement Bro Band and All Rats and uh and the night they laid down uncle rat and digging down most of them I, I wrote like initially and then bunnies at the club i wrote like later no i, I wrote later that winter with my kids because that was a game we used to play where we used to get all the all their um rabbit stuffed animals and we would put on like dance music we love putting on dua lipa and then making <laughs> making all of their bunny stuffed animals dance along. So that it. one was a collaboration with my kids that came about a little later. <laughs> oh, that's great. Um, yeah, yeah, and, and like you know, like uh, uh, in the lyrics, like um, um, it, it it seems to be very much like a like a punk a counter culture type type uh, uh, ethos going th- 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 throughout the album. Like there's all sorts of like you know like like punk and counter culture uh, 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 th- things that that show up in the album. Was that was that s- s- something you strive you strive for in the, in the lyrics? Yeah, I mean, I think I just tried to like you know. I guess I found this parallel, um, you know, and not to like uh, this is this is with all love and respect for punk rockers. You know, I sort of that was my earliest musical explorations in high school was like being in a punk band, but I think. I identified this parallel between that sort of like misunderstood um, 
counterculture, um, you know, uh, urge that, that drives punk rock music. And, you know, as I anthropomorphize these, these, uh, for lack of a better word, pests, like, you know, rats, um, that, I found this parallel that, you know, that I, I imagine that, that, that rats might have a similar um, <laughs> attitude. Like we're so misunderstood. We just want to, we just want to play our music. We just want to hang out in your attic and, and be left alone. So I, I just thought that was a fun, uh, a fun parallel to explore. And it was easy for me with my early musical influences and, you know, playing pop music as a teenager to, to kind of get back in that headspace. And, and the funny thing is I was able to work in, I think in some ways this was my is is one of my more personal um projects because mm. there's all sorts of funny little inside jokes and references to like early bands of mine, funny conflict situations I was in with like bandmates in high school and college that you know they don't necessarily um they wouldn't be obvious to the listener but they're like there are all these <laughs> there's all this autobiographical um <laughs> Oh, information like this is all cool. throughout the album. Yeah. <laughs> Are you able to share any of those? Like so so we know what to listen for next time? Um, let's see. <laughs> um, okay. So like in that uh song The Night They Laid Down Uncle Rat, which is actually kind of the secret track. It's not out on Spotify and streaming, but it is on the Bandcamp version. Um I had this hilarious ongoing conflict with one of my college best buddies and we lived in a in a kind of ramshackle not exact, not a punk house per se, but I was playing in a, you know, just sort of like a early twenties, um, not very communal, communal living, uh, situation with, <laughs> with my college buddies. Like, uh, we were playing in a band in the basement, like, um, and I had this just like hilarious rivalry with one of my friends and, uh, and we, I, I don't know. There was, there's just, there were all these hijinks we got up to, including one night I tried to go up in the attic and like make a lot of noise, like, um, like rodents to kind of, to, to, to keep him awake and to, to scare him. Um, so <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad answer, but see, it's like, these are these weird convoluted inside jokes, but yeah. that would be one example. Yeah. But there's all sorts of funny little details, um, just about bands I used to be in, be in and, and fun stuff like that. That's really neat. So actually, I I wanted to ask about this uh, the song the night we laid down on Uncle Rat because it's it's one of like the most serious songs of of the the EP and it, and, uh-huh. and, and it really like deals with like with death and celebration of life uh, mm-hmm. r- really well. So I wanted to ask like what why did you make uh, uh this this song in particular? You know that's a great question. I'm not totally sure. It, it was also there was it. It's funny because it's also based on another, it's based on a few little funny anecdotes. Um, on the night my cousin got married um, a f- several years ago, um, I w- we were in Texas, in Austin, Texas, my hometown, uh, to celebrate her wedding. And when my wife and I came home from the, um, from the wedding, there was, my uh, parents had caught a rat upstairs in the attic and but it hadn't the the rat trap hadn't quite done the job so it was kind of and I apologize to your listeners because this is kind of gross but it was kind of like making noise and flopping around up there and we had to like <laughs> go up and deal with it <laughs> um, so it's sort of like I was thinking about like a rat getting getting caught in a rat trap on the night of a big wedding and um, that I don't know so the song kind of came from there Uncle Rat is also a, a character from old folk songs you know a lot of my old older albums are all, all these old traditional folk songs and uncle rat is the um is the like uh patriarch character in in that old song froggy win accordion um which i've done a few different versions of so i was kind of thinking about like carrying on that character and i don't know i guess i just felt like you know a song you know it's a kids kids lose their grandparents kids you know kids lose um you know, important figures, older figures in their life. And so a song that kind of like talked about um, how we can continue to celebrate um, our loved ones, even after their death, uh, you know, felt like an important thing to thing to sing about and thing to explore. So, um, yeah, so that's the song that came out. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And, and it's interesting. I, 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 I meant to ask this 
earlier in the interview, but but I was wondering why this this uh, uh, project ended up as an EP rather than a f- full blown album. Yeah, that's a good question. I think I, um, you know, I had this group of songs. It, it was a funny process to tell you the truth, Sagan. I, you know, I wrote this initial group of songs, probably six songs in this sort of initial burst of inspiration. And I had a few other ideas and a few things that didn't quite make the cut. And I ended up um, uh, making a lot of the album with my old friend Dean Jones, who I'm sure you and your listeners know, who's an amazing musician, multi-instrumentalist and producer um, up in the Hudson Valley in New York. Um, Just remotely, though, you know, I I recorded tracks in my basement and then I'd send them to Dean and, uh, and he'd add some layers and other instruments and we kind of go back and forth like that. Um, so we'd kind of gotten it going that fall of 2020, and then I would, you know, I had like an initial group of songs that I sat on for a while, and I guess I just kind of went in and out of like feeling super excited and inspired about the songs, and then feeling kind of like, this is such a departure from, you know, because most of my work is more on the sort of Americana folk rock side, and, and there's elements of that in this project, but there's, as you noted, there's also some pretty new sounds, and um and so I guess I just kind of went in and out of being like, does this even fit in my, <laughs> in my, you know, repertoire? And like, what is this funny, weird project? So I think when I ended up getting to the, these seven songs and really thinking about it, I was like, you know what? I think this is like a fun little, you know, great little batch of songs that, that hold together really well. But awesome. if I push it much further, I think I was just worried that I would like overdo it on the theme mm. um, if, if I tried to write five more songs. So this felt like a good number. Awesome. <laughs> just so, a fun little pandemic project. So we just have a, 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 a little bit left, but I wanted to ask you real quick about uh, your your new collaborative album that's coming out with with uh, Aaron Nigel Smith. Yeah. Yeah, so um, Smith and Yarn. So that's another long cooking project. Right around the same time, fall of 2020, um, Aaron and I started sharing a studio space here in Portland to do live streams through the pandemic. And uh, we'd been talking about a collaboration for a long time, and he pitched the idea of like doing a country reggae thing, because Aaron's a reggae family reggae artist. And uh, I was like, let's go. So we started writing songs and and, uh, recording them. Aaron's a real proficient um, like home engineer. And so we recorded most of them with him, and it took about a year and a half. But we've got this album, Smith & Yarn, which is like this cool country folk reggae funk hybrid thing um, awesome. and it's coming out first single comes out next week awesome. and then the album comes out later in april so be on the lookout awesome and where can p- people find uh your music if they want to check it out well best place to go is Bandcamp. that's where you can kind of support uh the artist directly and also you can get the full unedited version of the underground ep <laughs> awesome. but you can also find me on all the traditional streamers like uh spotify and and you can find videos on YouTube and all, and all that kind of stuff. All right. Well, well, thank you so much for calling us up, and we look forward to hearing more from you in the future. Thanks so much for the opportunity and for spinning the tunes. I can really appreciate it. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. I'd rather be I'd rather be under the sea under the sea They've got some fish down there Dressed like clowns If you want to see stars Just look down I read about a shark As big as a bus I hope it comes by and Gives a ride to us Under the sea Up on the moon I'll see you soon I'll see you soon Up on the moon It doesn't look too far Above my roof If we take a job Full of 
up on the moon Look out my back door Oh no, it's growing by the minute 
I think a couple of skunks live in it. The salmon's got more feet than a centipede. Look at the shoe out by the door. Size one, size two, size three, size four. All your feet's too big. You gotta buy some more. Sneakers, runners, sandals, boots. You buy them in a box, but what's the use? Just throw them in the shoe by, by the front door. Shoot by, by the side door. Shoot by, I gotta shovel away so I can look out my back door. Oh no, it's growing by the minute. I think a couple of skunks live in it. This family's got more feet than a centipede. Look at the shoe pile by the door. Winter and spring and summer and fall, we got boxes in the basement. There's a hamper in the hall. We like to walk to school. We can run for miles when they see us at the shoe store. That we smile. What can I get for you today, sir? Just the usual. Three pairs of extra global super breakable shoes coming right up. Just throw them in the shoe by by the front door. Shoe by by the side door. Shoe by, well, I got a shovel away so I can look out my back door. Oh no, it's growing by the minute. I think a couple of skunks live in it. The salmon's got more feet than a centipede. Look at the shoe by by the door. Dear friends, if you're blessed like my family with an overabundance of footwear, and if this booty bounty troubles your sensibilities, close your eyes, pinch your noses, and sing with me. Shoe pile, don't bother me. Shoe pile, don't bother me. Shoe pile, don't bother me at all. Oh no, that shoe pile, it don't bother me. Shoot pile that don't bother me Oh, that shoot pile that don't bother me at all In the morning that shoot pile that doesn't bother me Oh, that shoot pile that doesn't bother me Oh, that shoot pile that don't bother me That was Shoe Pile by my friend Christopher. That is from his upcoming album that will be out on Monday, Tuba Blues. Uh, we heard three songs from that album. We also heard Keep Looking Up and Under the Sea, Up on the Moon to start us off. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of Radioactive Kids. We are almost out of time on the show for today. And thank you so much to... Red Yarn for calling us up and chatting about his latest album or his latest EP, the Underground EP. Um, stay tuned if you're listening to Asheville FM for Short Circuits with Oscar. And if you're not listening to Asheville FM, stay tuned for whatever might be coming up next. Let's finish off with a song that's like not really a kid song, but I don't, I just wanted to play it because it's because it's fun and I had some extra time left over at the end of the show. Um, it's by Giantess. It's called King for a Day, and it's from the Wiz Rockopedia Compilation Club, Volume Three. Let's get loud. Um, we will finish off with that, and then we might have some time left over. And if we have any time left over, I'll play something else random. We shall see. Anyway, thank you so much for listening to the show. It has been great hanging out with y'all once again. I am Sagan. This is Radioactive Kids, and I'll see you on the radio next week.
caving in, but I'm too good a dog to run. Born in a bin and I'm starting to stink. The longer I'm left out in the sun. King 